Hi, welcome to my video. Uh, this is a video that's going to be talking about the tracking feature in Microsoft Word 2016. Um, now I get a lot of um, people who hire me to proofread their content, their you know reports, their articles, whatever, and a common uh, question or a common uh, situation that happens is you know, I'll proofread their content and I'll track the changes that I make. And when they receive the the document back, you know, they'll be happy with the, the changes because they can see all the markups of where the changes are. However, they get confused as to how to turn off the markups. They'll basically ask me for a final version of the document without the markups. And I have to tell them, you can turn off the markups in the document. You don't need a separate document that doesn't have the markups. And, you know, that's where they get confused. So I have to explain to them exactly how to turn off the markups. So I thought I would just create this video to show everyone, you know, just the basics of the tracking feature of Microsoft Word and how to turn on and off the markups. Um, It'll be pretty simple. I'm not going to get too deep into like how to type in balloon comments and stuff like that. This is just a basic rundown of how to make, how to turn on the markups, how to turn them off, that sort of thing. So in this document, you know, I, I typed a basic sentence. Uh, here we are testing the tracking feature of Microsoft Word. Okay. So let's say I want to, you know, I want to change this sentence and track the changes. So what I would do is I'm already on the review tab so you got different tabs here so you, if you're using Microsoft Word 2016 which is what this is you go to review and you go to track changes you just click on this there you go so now every every um, thing I type in or anything I change is going to be it was it's going to be marked up in red so let me show you let's say I want to add another sentence here is a test sentence. See what happened there? It's, it, it's in red. That means from the point when I clicked on this, it turned, you know, this is the change I made after I, I turned on the tracking. So let's say I want to, oh, let's see, here we are testing the tracking. I might saw a word. I'll add 2016. So see, that's a change I made now. Now, what I would do, all markup here means that it's showing all the markup, all meaning all the changes that I made are being shown because it's called markup. Now, if I want to just do simple markup, it, it has a line over here, a vertical line. This basically represents the, the line of text that has the changes, but it doesn't show where the changes are in the text. It just shows this is the area that had changes. So that's why it's simple markup. So you won't see like the 2016 in red because it's just a simple markup. But the line here signifies that this is the line that had changes. And if I want to see the exact changes, I do all markup. And now, okay, this is the change I made. 2016, here's a test sentence. Okay, makes sense. Now let's and by the way, when, when you do, when you're making changes to the document, I don't recommend having this selected or simple markup selected. I recommend having no markup because if you start editing words, it gets really confusing with the markup. Here, let me show you. Let me edit. Here, let me type a sentence that has uh, grammar errors in it. Hold on. This is a gooder test. <laughs> okay. Now, okay, oh wait, this is a change. I need to make a change, right? So what I would do is just delete ER. This is a good test. Now, you, you don't see anything, any markups, because it's on no markup. But the, this is still selected, so it was tracked. And to see if it was tracked, you go to all markup again. This is a good test. Oh wait, that's right, I, I, I added... Um, I added that sentence so you don't see the, the difference in the change. All right, bad example. Let me show you something else. Yeah, I forgot because I, I just typed that sentence. So it, it added it as all red text. So I have to 
I have to edit this because this was written before I clicked on this. That's right, my mistake. Um, okay, here we are uh, testing the tracking feature of Microsoft Word 2016. So let me tell you, okay, okay, I, here's all I'll do. I'll, I'll delete here and just do we. We are testing the tracking feature. Okay. All markup. Okay, see what happened? Here got deleted. And the W there because I had to capitalize the W. So this is the text that I deleted after I clicked on this. So it, it puts a, a line through the through the letters to signify that that's what was deleted. Anything deleted uh, on any text that's deleted before you click track change has a line through it. See, this didn't have a line through it because I typed this after I clicked track change. That's why this is a good test. The ER doesn't show there because this is this is from after that. So, so now we are testing the tracking feature of Microsoft Word. So, let's say I want to do delete Microsoft and just put Word 2016. So, we are testing the tracking feature of Word 2016. So now I go back to all markup and boom, Microsoft has a line through it, meaning it's been deleted. Uh, if you do simple markup, you see it all looks the same except the lines there to signify that's where the changes were made. Um, no markup, so you can see what you're doing. Now, as you can tell, no markup is very clean. Now let's say I wanted to change a word here. Let me put on all markup again. Let me show you why putting no markup is better than all markup, because in all markup, if you delete something, see what happens? The, you see the line through it, and if I want to type something else, you see that? It uh, it, it appears before the, the letters that were deleted, so it has this big mess of, of letters, and it can get confusing if you're going back, looking at the markup while you're adding new letters to a word. It, it, there's just too many lines and too much stuff going on, so it's always better to put no markup. And of course, we don't want to put track feature, tracking feature. So that was just to show you. And, and see that I deleted the ing and then I added the ing, so that that's what that signifies. But you see how messy that would be. Track ing and then crossed out ing. It, it, it'd just be way too confusing. Uh, if to to edit this with the all markup selected, you don't want to do that. Just uh, leave it on no markup, and then it's very clean. Okay. But anyway, when I'm proofreading uh, people's documents, you know, basically I'll leave. You know, basically, when when they open it up, it'll it'll show like this: tracking changes on all markup. This is what they'll see when when they receive the the proofread document. But where they get where they have problems is how to turn off this this stuff just so they can have the clean text. They don't realize you just have to go to this and this. However, however, yeah, they also have to turn off track changes and they have to click accept. So basically, let me let me do this. All markup and then accept. Now you can go to individual changes, you know, accept, move to next, or you could just do accept all changes or accept all changes and stop tracking. This is the one we're going to do because if you receive a final document from somebody who proofread your content, then you could just accept all changes and stop tracking. Or if you really want to check each individual change they made, you could do accept and move to next like, like this. You know, accept, move to next, accept, move to next, accept, move to next. You see what I mean? But you don't really need to do that. Just accept all changes and stop tracking. Boom. And that's all you need to do. So if you receive a, a document with tracking in it and you want to get all the, the markups away, then just go to accept all changes and stop tracking. And then it'll go all the way and update it with all the, the new changes and without any of the markups. It's very, very simple. So you don't need to get a separate document with the with the final version in it because you can just turn this into the final version by accepting the changes. All right, I hope I hope that made some sense. Uh, I tried to explain that the best I could. I'm not I'm not always the best teacher, so I might have stumbled on a few things, but 
I think you get the idea. Just review, track changes to track what you want to what you want to mark have markups on and you know you can turn them off turn them on and then once your client or whoever receives the document they can accept them or reject them through these buttons there and if they accept them the markups go away if they reject them then the original content that was there comes back so the change that was made goes away and the original content comes back if you if you go to reject or, you know, if you want to just reject everything, you can do that, too. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but um, it works the same way as except. Anyway, I hope that made sense, and thanks for watching. All right.